So my idea is called Social Beauty, and as you can see, it's based around social media. So at the end, I will be using surveys to fill out. But first, I need to discover more about my idea. So basically, as I said, my idea based around Instagram as my main focus, and because this, I thought I need one thing to focus on with my idea because I can't make it too broad so my idea was Instagram because I have personal experiences with that and I have more to do with that so it's basically based around the idea of how social media affects how people feel about their appearance because obviously people put out their best selves on Instagram on social media they don't show them bad days when you're having like a bad spot day or you're really tired with bads under your eyes they always put out clean, fresh self, and everyone flicks through day and night. It's like a, a well-known fact. When you wake up, Instagram. When you go to sleep, Instagram. And you're flicking through, and you're seeing all these amazingly beautiful people. And you're sitting there with maybe like bags under your eyes, thinking, why do I not look like that right now? And it can make people feel really bad about themselves. And I've had personal experience with this. Three of my friends have had personal experience with this. I'm sure many other people have as well. And so I thought, why not? highlight this as my topic and try and raise more awareness about this. So, three participants, as I said, who have had experience with this um, will be my friend Lucy, my friend Jewel, and my friend Charlie. I have spoke to them about this and they're happy to tell their stories in my documentary. Um, I'm doing this to raise awareness, as I said, and my target audience will be from 13 to 24 year olds because it's better to catch them while they're young, they're just joining Instagram or whatever try and get them aware of this factor. Um, the locations will be in my house and where the town, so this will make it quite easy because obviously my house is my house, you can just use it. And where the town, there's often secluded areas that we can go to that don't really have many people around. The crew will be me. Um, advertisements for this also will be posters and Instagram content and promotions. So posters, I was talking to Ollie about it on Friday and I was going to do extra content raising awareness on posts as well which can be put around like public transport places. So it's a bit more nice, so if you don't see the video, you see the posts on, you think, oh okay, because people get trains, buses and everything like that every single day. So they're most likely going to walk past it and see it because you see other posters all the time. And then Instagram content, this will be where I'll put like little clips, if it's from my like documentary that I'll have on there that you can see and also pictures and stuff like that just to promote my video and my campaign really. Um, Project the rules and time scales. So for the time scales, I was thinking to start filming this after the Easter holidays because it'll be easier and I was thinking either the weekends or Mondays and Tuesdays because that's when my friends are mostly free and they don't have college or whatever so it'll be easier for me. And project of as I said, I'll promote a social media page that will incorporate shots from my project and little teasers and promotions from my documentary. Um, I will upload my video to YouTube and then obviously I'll put a link so people can go onto that. And also on my Instagram page, I'll have the link in the bio so people can click on it and they'll be able to see my video. Um, I was also thinking maybe do like a Facebook page or something as well to promote. So as many promotions as I can to help raise the awareness. I was thinking as much as I can, I can do that. And then I can get family members, friends to share it around. And then it'll become like well more known and people know about so it. To make it go viral, kind of the, yeah, the idea yeah, is to try and make it go viral. Yeah, make it go as viral as it can really. So people do know about this because I feel like it is something in our generation that does need to be brought up and needs to be heard about. So I want to make it as known as possible. Um, and my inspiration, I found these two documentary clips on YouTube and this is what I analysed for my piece of work. And basically, there's Project Socialise and another video, and it basically highlights um, how social media affects you. But it focuses more on the mental health side, but it's still kind of the type of thing I wanted to do and what I took big inspiration from. And one of these actually won an award um, for being really good. And I just, I was watching them, and the way they presented them and the way they highlighted it is kind of what I want to do. And it's what I take my inspiration from, for mine. And it's kind of where I gathered 
that kind of like a more solid idea from because I looked at it and I was like, you know what, I could do something like that. And so these are really big inspirations for me. And so yeah. Um surveys. Um I will give out the surveys and you guys can fill it out. Can you do uh, that when can we do that when you go and do that at the end? Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um and so yeah, I think that's everything. Um why just you girls? Um I don't know how to be honest. It was just kinda like who I knew had been affected and so it's kinda like the closest people that I could contact and get in touch with about this. So do you think you may be doing it because it's easy or do you think that maybe stretch stretch yourself a little bit and kind of or or I mean if it's just for women, it's a campaign for women, that's cool, but I don't think you should make it a, a campaign for women because it's easy. Yeah, yeah. Course. You need justification as to why it's just for women, because yeah. men get, I mean, I'm sure that men get affected by it too, do they? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether yeah. that's kind of like something to maybe to but think yeah, about. Yeah, Or if not, well. you need to justify why you're yeah, just looking at women. So yeah. it's, it can't just be because my mates are women. Do you know what I mean? That's kind <laughs> of like yeah, where I feel a little bit. Yeah? And have you got any questions or ideas to give to how... Lucy could expand this idea or kind of make it more interesting. Like, is, is it just like photos and voiceover? Or is it just oh no, it's a film documentary, so it's going to be videos. Oh, okay. Of what? Um, of basically, it's going to have interviews incorporating them talking about their experiences, but it'll also have video footage of them in the morning, at night, just scrolling through their phone, like their daily. How are you going to make that entertaining? Um, well, it's kind of going to be with the interviews. It'll have, it won't, it won't be necessarily entertaining. It'll be like more of an emotional, deep kind of video. It's all about recreations. Um, maybe recreating their experiences. Yeah, I could incorporate an aspect of that as well. But it's going to be focused more on like the deepness of it all and like. Yeah, but how are you going to represent emotion. the deepness of it all? Um, because, I don't know, when like, they're talking about their experiences, obviously, it's like hit them quite hard. So How are you going to represent that, though? I think I'd like nice music incorporated in the background to like add to the atmosphere a little, you know? What do you think do you think she could do to make it kind of like emphasise the emotion of it? Any ideas, Courtney? Oh. No idea. <laughs> They're not very useful, you guys. What do you think? <laughs> now, I, I think I think you need to think more cinematic. Yeah. I think you, I think that it's too simple as it is. Okay. There's a documentary that's just come out on Netflix called Social Animals. Oh yeah. Which you should check out. It's about oh, yeah, social media yeah. and that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. All right, and look at those other documentaries that you looked at yeah, well. for inspiration visually. So I like the concept, but I don't. I think it's very dry at the moment. Yeah. Do you think so? No, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Okay, cool.